COVID restrictions have put restaurants in crisis across the state, but this week many are trying to make up for the financial carnage with Thanksgiving carryout. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live in the West Loop with more on how some are adapting. Jeremy. And Jim, so many of the restaurants in the area behind us have had to cope with not being able to serve diners inside due to COVID-19 restrictions. They have instead done carry out. They have done catering. And one business is doing just that with a focus on the Thanksgiving holiday. We specialize in smoked meats with soul food sides. And um, as far as adjusting, uh, we, we've always been good with kind of just like rolling with the punches. Before this, did you do turkey? I did not do turkey, but I, I will be smoking about 60. We just got a last minute order from a church for, to feed 100 people on Thanksgiving Day. Like many, Dominique Leach, owner and executive chef at Lexington Betty Smokehouse, is doing what she can to keep business going during the pandemic. Her restaurant was born out of a food truck back in 2017 and thrived despite a previous disaster. She says the vehicle was set on fire in an arson and four months later, she got it back up running and smoking all sorts of meats over the past 10 months. The business now includes three locations, 15 workers. Like many other businesses, she is offering Thanksgiving carryout. It will not make up for months of sales declines due to COVID-19 restrictions, but it is providing a badly needed boost. Actually, the response has been so well, we're actually gonna see uh, something close to about a 30% increase in sales um just in the span of a week which is um i mean we've never seen that actually this will be the busiest thanksgiving on uh on record for us you'd normally do some business during the holiday year but the virus the pandemic forced you to really blow it up and yeah. so far the results have been great yeah absolutely yeah the results have been great people want to be supportive of small businesses right now and they're taking the pandemic very serious and they want to keep their family safe so they're staying home last month the illinois restaurant association estimated about 20 percent of food establishments could permanently close due to COVID 19 issues so these types of opportunities for restaurants are so critically important going forward Live in the West Loop, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jim. Jeremy, thank you.